We all knew it would come at some point. Things like this can't last forever, especially when another major Battlefield title is in the works. Just a few days ago, it was finally confirmed that content for Battlefield 4 is finished. David Serlin confirmed on Twitter that Dice LA have no more plans to introduce content onto the CTE, and surely that signals the end of their support for the game. Or does it? I've done a little bit of investigation work here, and bear with me, I have come across a pattern. Maybe it's just wishful thinking on my part, or I'm just blinded by the fact that I simply don't want support for Battlefield 4 to end, but nevertheless, the messaging that's being conveyed here is very scripted, I suppose you could say. Looking through some of the tweets that David Serland has been putting out, they all follow the same message. We don't have any plans to release new content for BF4 to the CTE. Now that might seem innocent enough, and well, it probably is, but let's explore some more. We, as in Dice LA, are not planning to release more content on the BF4 CTE. All the prototype content, including maps, is still available on the CTE. At no point in these very similar messages does David state that the current prototype content on the CTE could come to retail. He makes sure every time to word the message in such a way that only makes it relevant to the CTE itself and avoids talking about the retail. Could it be possible that we will see the final few parts of the CTE make their way into the retail version soon? I think it's unlikely. Not impossible, but unlikely. Looking again into David's tweet stream, we see mentions of other projects, like here. We're excited to share more with you about future projects when the time is right. For now, a huge thank you for taking part. Now I'm of the opinion that it was finally time for Dice LA to officially move on to a new project, with their addition of the Dragon Valley remake, along with its ode to Noshar Canals as a TDM section. I think that was the final piece of content that we are going to get. That makes me really sad, because awesome prototypes like the other two night maps, Golmud Railway and Seas of Shanghai, are still sitting in the CTE, and I think they would be welcomed into the retail version. I'm sure there's a very good reason as to why they aren't making the jump across, but it is sad to see them almost go to waste here. What is next for DICE LA though? Well, one would assume that they'd be integrated back into the Battlefield franchise in some way. They played a supporting role on BF4 to begin with, and then they took over full development of the game after the first three DLCs. Is now the time, with all of their success with fixing Battlefield 4, to see them make their own Battlefield title from the ground up? For me personally, that would be something I would be hugely supportive of. Because Dice LA have set a new standard for development within the series, integrating the community in a way that hasn't really been done with any AAA title for a very long time. And if there's even a smidgen of evidence out there that they are working on something already, you know that I'm the guy that's going to find it. Here, in a screenshot taken from a Reddit thread, I've linked the thread in the description, you can see a DICE developer going by the name of Mars giving his own opinion, I will specify that, his own opinion into what he'd like to see in a future title in the Battlefield series. I quote the following. Features I would like to see in a future game include, but are not limited to, burn-in of bright pixels, persistence within the optic, so a laser could leave lingering marks on the optic, but normal view would be unaffected, and greater control over thermal opacity and signature. It's all pretty early on in the next thing though, so it's impossible to say what will actually make it in. That right there, the last sentence, it's all pretty early on the next thing though, so it's impossible to say what will actually make it in. That right there is acknowledgement that something is being produced that we haven't been shown yet. And considering they're talking about thermal scopes, it has to suggest that either present day or some near future setting could be coming to the Battlefield franchise at some point soon. It is sad to see the end of Battlefield 4's content, 
but the game isn't going away. Record numbers of gamers playing every single day now, between 100 and 200,000 people playing consistently every single day. Those numbers are huge. The game is still very much alive. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop me a like if you did, and make sure you leave some comments. What about that mention of something else on the way in the Battlefield series? Is it the next game or something beyond in the future? But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.